Okay, people, have you ever wanted to, like, put, say, a film that you've got on DVD or a film that you've put into your hard drive or something, um, and you either want to store it on your computer, take it off the disc, put it onto your computer, or take it off the disc and put it onto an iPhone or an iPod Touch? Well, I'm going to show you how to do it. Right, okay, so yeah, you want to get a film from this to this. Right, the first bit of software that you'll need is called Mac the Ripper. Now, I will have all the links of where you can get these. They are free applications, um, but Mac the Ripper, it basically takes the information off the disk and puts it on the computer for you. Now, it can sometimes take a bit of time, sometimes ranges from... 15 to 20 minutes to an hour sometimes. So we do, you can see that you get this nice little icon on the desktop here. Now I'm just going to pop the Matrix DVD in and let's hope it's going to work. Some DVDs don't always work because they're too copyright protected if you want to say. But you know, I don't class this copyright if you're still using it on your own items. I class it as anyway. So just give it a minute, it will register. Um, and then it'll bring up. Hopefully, it sometimes it brings up like the name of the song. So the name. So by the looks at actually, yeah, it's it's found it. It's working fine. It says that it's roughly six point six point nine nine gigs in total on that disc. So um, what you want to do? <coughs> Let me just see if I can remember it myself. And then you want to go to your mode, and you want to go down to your main feature extraction so that that's basically it's going to take just the film instead of taking like the adverts you might have on discs and whatnot stuff like that I think it's either I, I think it's the main feature extraction you see the main feature extraction or title set extraction so I'm just going to go main feature extraction and then you go go just hit the go button and it says right where do you want to save it to I'm just going to put it onto my desktop so as you can see a nice little folder has been made there and that's where the film will get stored into and you've just got to give it a bit of patience so yeah I'm going to leave the video for now I'll come back when it's done and then I'll show you the next steps from there right so we're back again and now we're actually done so as you can see here we've got a picture of Bomberman it says Bomberman says don't copy DVDs that you do not own it. This is a crime. Okay, so let that be a warning to you. It's Bomberman. Bomber. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that took roughly, for me to complete that, it was roughly 16 minutes and 14 seconds, it's saying. So once that's done, just hit close, and simple enough, you can eject your CD. So let me take that out. That's that out. Now, you can actually fully close that and you do have as we said there's a folder just there so if we go into that we've got another little thing that says video TS go into that there'll be loads of bits and bobs but you can't read them so this is where you need a second application now this is it just here it's called handbrake it's a little cocktail glass and a pumpkin sit next to each other so just open that up okay I didn't want that I want that there right so you'll get this little screen here again this application is free all you do is click on sources and as you can see we're on desktop and then we want to click the matrix film and then just go open so it's just going to pull up that information now this is a stage where it can take a hell of a long time uh, so all you do is just go up the top there and press start and just leave it as that. That's where it'll take a while, okay? So just leave it as that.
So it's actually finally finished now. Um, all it did was it said uh, put down your cocktail, um, handbrake cue is now done. Um, but this is it just here. So yeah, that's what originally came off the disc. That one just there. And then that is after using handbrake just there. So if I zoom out and I click space, you'll actually notice that it's pretty fine quality. Here it is. There's nothing I can say that will explain it for you. So yeah, that's it now actually on your computer, so you can put that onto a hard drive if you wanted to. I think I probably will. Um, but after that, if you want to actually get it down to the size to fit onto your iPod, because that something of that is too large to put onto your iPod itself. So you need another application to do it. Now again, this one's free. It's called FMMPEGX. Okay, so I'm going to open that up. So this is the application. Now you can install these other bits and bobs if you ever wanted to. It's just like a few extra encoders, but uh, I don't bother. Um, now this is the main bit that you want to get to. So it says, open the file that you want to encode. Now remember, this bit is basically making that file um, the right size to fit onto an iPod or an iPod Touch or you know an iPhone and whatnot. So basically, we want to go desktop, and then we want to find the film, which is that one there. So it's 1.4 gigs. I don't know if you can see that. 1.4 gigs at the moment. So if we go choose, and it basically puts it in there. And then what we want to do is it says source format. So that's all the information just there, what it is at the moment. But we want to change it to. So say if you've got like any of the iPods, put it on there. The iPhone, PSP. Um, basically anything you want, in fact, it's all on there, DivX, but I'm going to go iPhone. So then it puts it to all the automatic sizes there, of the screen, or the hertz, and whatnot, and then just simply go in code. Now, again, something like this can take quite a while, so if you, if you add up all the time limits for doing things like copying, um, handbrake, and FFmpeg, uh, it will probably take a good hour to maybe sometimes two hours. So, you know, it hasn't even started to go to 1% yet, so I'm thinking that it might be maybe an hour's job for doing something like that. Um, but then, yeah, I'll bring it back up when it's at the end, and I'll basically be showing you just basically putting it straight into the iTunes and then onto my iPhone. Um, it's actually finally done now, it took roughly an hour and a half to finish. So as it says, encoded the matrix feature M4V to iPhone, and it's finished. So now we can actually cancel it. Well, close it, should I say. Get rid of that. Um, but now we have another box just here. So that's your original. This is the iPhone version. So as you can see, totally different size and screen. But yeah, now simply if you want to stick that onto your iPhone or iPod Touch, just simply open iTunes, click on Movies, once it's loaded up that is. Now as you can see I've already got two films already in there, but what you do is just grab it drag and drop and then it just says that it's copying into the library so in a minute it will take go straight into there now I can't actually fit it onto my iPod I don't have enough memory it's roughly um, I think it's roughly 400 and it's 547 megs in total for the film so I don't have enough but yeah, just simply after that you go to videos, movies, and then you can sync whatever movies you want to. Simple as that really, isn't it? There you go.